Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leader is the Reverend Alison Bridgefield, Minister, Tilly Coultry Parish Church in Tilly Coultry. Presiding Officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, it's my privilege to address you this afternoon. I wonder how many things you and I have in common. Perhaps in many ways, not a lot. In others, a great deal. One of the things I'm certain about is that we all hold dear a desire to ensure we provide the best possible leadership for those whom we've committed ourselves to serving. When I became minister at Tillicutri four years ago, a large part of the church garden was overgrown and neglected, and over time it had just become a dumping ground. It was my vision to transform that into a community garden, an asset that could benefit the whole community as an oasis of calm and a place where they could help if they wanted to. Over the past three years, some of my office bearers have taken the vision and by their leadership transformed it into a reality. And so it was on Easter Sunday, our outdoor dawn service took place in the wonderful calm and well-tended garden in the shadows of the hills. People come and go all the time. They sit on benches, they join in the maintenance, they offer their skills, they just chat to one another and walk their dogs. Not long ago, a family was able to use the garden to release balloons at the time of a family funeral on the other side of the world. All because there was a vision. And then others were willing to pick up that vision and with the responsibility of leadership, make the dream come true for the good of others. Leadership's never easy. It comes at a cost to ourselves in terms of time and energy. It can be frustrating when others don't share the dream or hijack it for their own ends. It can be painful when we're criticized for doing our best. It can be disillusioning when we are misunderstood. But when our leadership works and inspires others to work and to lead too, it becomes so worthwhile. You have a vision of the difference you personally can make. You all together have the task of making a corporate difference in our nation. I urge and encourage you to continue to bear the mantle of leadership, to persuade others to share it, and to allow more to flourish under its protection. And may God bless you in that task. 